Right, we're going to be looking at the loci of the point as this mechanism moves. Um, they want the loci of the point at D and the loci of the point at F. Uh, G is a fixed point over here, and then I've got this rail over here that E is going to slide along. Um, let me just zoom in a little bit on there. Right, um, to start with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this distance EF. I'm going to take that across to point G and I'm going to mark off the furthest distance that E can move to. Right, so E has now moved to that point over there on that side and E has moved to that point on that side over there. So there's E. Right, after I've done that, I'm going to take my set square and I'm going to draw a line going from G through E. Just a construction line. I'm just going to draw that in red. Don't be shy with that line. And a line that's going to go from G through E over here as well. And then I'm going to take this measurement over here of DE. I'm going to go to my new point E's and I'm going to mark off where D is going to go to, on there, and over there. So that's the furthest point that D is going to be able to get to. After that, um, you can see that the actual diagram shows you a 30 degree line which has been drawn from F going to D. You can transfer that across onto this side, drawing a line going, construction line going through G. And I should be able to mark off that distance DE from that point to there. That will give me my D point over here. And I need a distance of EF drawn from that point over there onto this line over here. I made it a little bit short. Okay, so my F point over there. I now need to look at two other points and then I can basically get, get on with this thing. I'm going to draw a construction line at 45 degrees now from G. I'm going to take my length EF. I'm going to go over here. Point E will be at that point over there, which means that F will be down over here. And my point E is going to move to that point over there, and F is going to move over here. Take that distance DE, place it at this point over here, and I'm going to get a new D point over there, place it over here, and get a D point over there. Right, the last point that we need to find is when, uh, when the E point is sitting right at that point over there, I'm going to mark it off my distance EF. So F point has moved right the way down to over here. And my DE is going to move to that point over there. So I've got a D point on that center line right at the top. Once I've got that, I can now take my arc gently through, the, through those points over there. And then I can just draw in that arc going through all of those points. There it is.